Welcome Taurus, all my beautiful bulls. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle readings for the week of July the 29th to August the 5th, 2019. <clears throat> again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos, but most of all, subscribing to them. When you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified immediately when I'm out there on open air for you to view these readings on YouTube. As you know, this is a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Taurus on the planet, but if some of it does resonate, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite you to click that little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you right into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information you need to know to contact me is posted below this video. <clears throat> okay my beautiful bulls, let's see what we have here for your all over energy for the week of July the 29th. You have been given the Ace of Water, better known as the Ace of Cups. What a gift you have here. What a beautiful gift of innovation and being motivated and being able to move forward to succeed in your plan of emotional gifts. This is falling in love. <clears throat> this is some of you maybe falling in love. You've been given the gift of divine love. And some of you may be seeing a love that you are involved in, a relationship that you're involved in, a partner that you've been with for a while or you know, you're married to perhaps, the resurgence of that. You've worked on this relationship, so it's improving. You've communicated, and things are going to become good again for you in this relationship. Others, I see that you've met someone. You're falling in love. This is a beautiful card of, of being able to move forward in a relationship. Others, I see you're moving. You may be moving to a new home. Perhaps your potential uh, partner is wanting to have you move in with them, or you're going to have them move in with you, or you're going to be buying a home together. So, this is the ultimate gift coming in from you. This is a gift of divine love. <clears throat> Doesn't get any better. You've got the Wheel of Fortune on your side here, Taurus. This is a beautiful card. This is all about being able to see full circle come in, completion coming in, being able to turn off my automatic uh, focus here because it's moving all over the place. <clears throat> this is a time of positive change. This is full circle. You know, what goes around comes around, so to speak. And this is a situation that suddenly moves forward for you. You know, you're saying to yourself, you've worked hard, you've worked towards your goals, you've had your head down to the ground, focusing on what it is you want. And all of a sudden now, things are starting to turn in your favor. This is a beautiful, beautiful card of knowing that uh, you know, some of you may, again, I talked about moving to an old home, but some of you may be taking a trip on, you know, uh, because this is the wheel, and the wheel is a form of uh, motion. A wheel is on a vehicle, so some of you may be taking a trip. But what you need to take from this card, in, you know, what this card implies and what this card tells you is you are going to have the energy of good karma, good luck around you now. You're going to be moving forward in a positive direction that you've been wanting to go in. Things have come to an end. This is a completion of something in the past and the beginning of something new. This is full circle. Beautiful, beautiful card. Crowning your week, it only makes sense. You have the emperor. You have stepped up into your power. Taurus, you have that ability. You dug your heels in and said, you know what? Come what may, I'm going to be organized. I'm going to be logical. I'm going to be structured and disciplined. And I am taking care of myself. I'm going to be the person that's there for me. I'm going to be, you know, practical and self-reliant. And you, by doing all these things and thinking realistic uh, as the emperor here, you're going to be able to turn this situation that you're dealing with into uh, to your advantage. So I do see that you have the ability to step up and take the leadership role, Taurus. You have that ability to stand on your platform and speak your truth, standing there, being able to see justice served, standing there and being able to express your truth. This is an amazing card for you to step up, step up and by being logical and being structured and disciplined, you will be able to see your plans unfold in your favor. You will be able to turn a situation to your advantage. 
Moving on to your final card, you've been given the Five of Earth for this week. And the Five of Earth is about uh, the Five of Pentacles. And sometimes, you know, this is uh, this brings discouragement. This is a card that says, you know, I feel like I've been thrown out of, out of the cold. Some of you may have lost your job. Some of you may have had a demotion. I mean, gloom and doom. This is an awful card of fearing money, the fears of money surrounding you. This is a card that says you can change this, okay? All you need to do is step it up and go see someone and pick their brain for their wisdom, okay? Accept the help from others, the wisdom of others. Could be your accountant, your banker, your financial advisor. It could be, uh, you know, your employer, whatever it is. I do see that some of you are uncertain about money right now. Even those that are, those out there that are self-employed, you're worrying about the profit and loss there in your ledger. So please seek out the help you need. Uh, <clears throat> know that you can get it. And if you get the help, it's going to change everything. You're going to be able to be able to handle your finances and feel at ease again. You're not going to be so worried and concerned and losing your rest and your sleep about this. Do not try to take this on your own, okay? If you're having problems with money, there is help out there, Taurus. Go and get it. They're there waiting. That's what they do. They're the professionals out there that can impart their wisdom to tweak something in your budget. It's going to make you feel more comfortable and at ease. So do not try to deal with this on your own. Okay. You're going to be able to find peace. We're going, moving on to our Lennerman uh, Oracle messages. And you, you know, you, this comes underneath the Ace of Water for some of you. And these are the church windows. And you will be able to see a beautiful peace come into your life and happiness and fulfillment when it comes to the emotional part of your life and perhaps relationships. But the all over energy tells me that things are going to improve here. You're not going to have to worry about money. You're going to get the help you need. I mean, you're moving forward. You've got the wheel of fortune and you've taken the responsibility and put your head down to do what it is you need to do. And this will, I do see working out in your favor. So stop worrying about money. I do see you're going to be doing the right thing and peace will come into the equation again for you. Okay. Don't let this gnaw at you. <coughs> you may be, it may be this, this money issue that's gnawing away at you and keeping you up, but I do see things are going to work out here. So don't let this eat away at you and gnaw away at you. Do not allow someone to diminish uh, something that you have or take anything away. <coughs> it could have to do with finances. It could have to do with your energy around you, your self-esteem, your power. Okay, don't allow this to happen. If there's someone around you with this energy, don't allow it to happen. Your dreams are going to be able to come true. <coughs> I'm sorry, will I take a <coughs> another mouthful of my water here? Us readers that have to be vocal like this all the time through a reading, and we do 12 of them a week, it takes <laughs> a lot of effort <coughs> and strain on our throat chakra. So I apologize for this. But you got a great card worth waiting for. You're going to be able to give birth to your dreams, Taurus. This is about moving forward. We talked about the Wheel of Fortune. We talked about you taking and regaining your own power here and stepping up, knowing the things that you need to do, and you've made it happen. You will be able to give birth to your dreams. Some of you here that have got married or you're in a loving relationship here, you may be actually being given, giving birth to a child, bringing in a new person into your life. You may be giving birth to a baby. There may be a baby coming into the family equation. For others, it will be giving birth to your dreams and your goals and your ambitions. <clears throat> Taurus, we're moving on to Archangel Michael. This is about having a sense of humor, okay? Being grateful for being able to look at things in a humorous way. Being able to laugh again. Being able to look at things and view things differently. By getting a new perspective on everyone's behavior, you can automatically detach with love, okay? So if things are bothering you, know that you'll see the humor in it eventually. Humor, humor allows people to drop their defenses so that love can enter and heal the situation and relationships. Perhaps it had to do, you know, with this ace of water, the, the resurgence of that relationship. So basically, you know, you know that laughter is the best medicine, Taurus. Uh, and ways of doing that is, you know, watching a funny movie uh, to boost your mood can often help. You know, your life's purpose may involve comedic writing, acting, or speaking. Some of you may have that talent and ability, ready to surge and come forefront. Learn some new jokes as a way to help your relationships. Share your humor with other people. 
Enroll in a stand-up comedy class to increase your speaking skills and self-confidence. Well, that may be for some of you and not for everyone, of course. But if you feel like you want to do it, this is the card that says it's right and the time is ready for you to do that. So see the sense of humor in things. Look at things in a lighter way. Make sure that laughter is part of your daily <clears throat> your daily practice here and things will work out in your favor because it shows me they are working out in your favor this week your final outcome card from nature's whispers is gratitude and appreciation and boy does that not ever fit in here when the wheel of fortune steps up here so <clears throat> recognize the good qualities in other people too and openly share your gratitude with them so it's taking notice of others and the energy around you and giving grace and gratitude for that Write notes of thanks to those who have helped you. If someone deserves acknowledgement, take the time to let a superior colleague know that they receive the recognition they deserve. So step up. Tell people when you think it, say it. <clears throat> okay? So just like nature, continually sharing its beauty with us to appreciate, we can see the beauty in other things and people as well. So basically, um, by doing so, you'll not only decrease your stress, but you will also generate the feeling of goodwill and love in your own life by showing others appreciation, bringing in laughter into the equation, seeing the humor in a situation, not letting things stress you out, not allowing people here to steal or take anything away from you or yourself, okay? Allowing yourself to take away the joy that you need to feel here by worrying about things. You're going, to, some of you are going to see a beautiful love re relationship come into play here. Uh, some of you may even be getting married, the flowers of the church and peace. <clears throat> giving birth to your dreams or perhaps bringing a new child into your home life. You're taking your power back into the equation here. You're stepping up. You're going to be able to, you know, turn a situation to your advantage by being realistic in your thinking and being practical and self-reliant. The Wheel of Fortune. Can we say any more about the Wheel of Fortune? This is full circle. Completion of the past and moving in a new direction, a positive one. Things working out. Don't worry about this finances. I do see that you will be able to work this out with the help of someone professional there to guide you. Well, my beautiful, beautiful bulls, my Taurus, this is your reading for <clears throat> this week and I wish you a great remainder to today and this beautiful optimistic week to look forward to and remember the universe and the divine your higher power want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace so Taurus surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and your happiness here blessings my beautiful souls see you soon and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you